Hi guys, Minerva here. I'm here with a video to sh uh, a flip through of my uh, latest journal. This journal has a sea theme. I'm trying to use my web controls, webcam control buttons, but they don't want to work, so I'm going to have to. Okay, so this is the cover. These are uh, seashells, a starfish, a little fish, and all these are, uh, I made all these with air dry clay using molds. I painted them. I added some uh, shine, some glitter with the Nugo pens so they look wet. There are some of the Stones, Prima, I believe they're called pebbles or something. And some of the drops. One here, a smaller one. And there's another one here. These are the drops. Has a corner. Uh, guard and these I painted with some um, painted finishes to make made to look like rust and I added some patina so they look rusty like you know metal stuff that you find at the beach it has a disclosure with a metal outlet in the back and it also has a dangle I made. I put this little uh, bottle here. It has a uh, sand, a shell, a little uh, letter, a pearl, and there's some uh, glitter glass in there also. And it's got little uh, charms. Sea charms. They're from, I believe, they're from Prima. <clears throat> a little boat, an anchor, another anchor, and a ship wheel, nautical wheel, and some beads. This one is put in with a, an eyelet screw. So you open it like this. This it's not when it gets fuller. You might not be able to go around it, but what you do is you can wrap this around this thing here. Wrap it, tie a half bowl maybe, and keep it closed like that. <coughs> so that's the cover. On the side, there's some lace and there's some more little uh, charms, dangles here. That's what it looks like. Let's go see the inside. There's a pocket, a double pocket, one here and another here. It's got little journaling cards and tags. And these were from the members uh, graphic fairy site. Beautiful siren. I coffee dyed these. With some lace. A pocket. These are my uh, the prints I made with the jelly plate. And uh, I printed them through the a printer with some images so that it would look like uh, stamped images. So, so it's like the ocean, my love for you has no end. And the journaling card. And this is tissue, uh, napkin. A nap uh, uh, decoupage napkin. <laughs> Don't talk today. Again. Oh, I need to put a little string here. 
<coughs> this is one of my old tags. And this is more of the napkin. And this one I put a little bit of glitter on it. And all the pockets are sewn in and the tags are sewn also. Although, yeah, it doesn't look like it, but I used blue thread. This one is not sewn, but this one is. Anyway, moving on. These are tea dyed papers. I said coffee dye before, but they're tea dyed. There's a little nautical envelope with some stamps or little cards. They look like stamps. And you can also tuck behind the envelope some little cards. Nice little round image here. Sewn around also. And the jelly plate paper, printed paper. Nice little uh, cluster. A blue flower lace. This is a ribbon. I keep forgetting what you call this. Nice little pocket here. It says uh, it's more like a label. Body body scrub, homemade, 100% pure. This is like a tuck spot. There's another tag. It's sewn here on the bottom. Sewn, glued, and sewn. This from the gra graphic fairy. Uh, pocket. One of those uh, envelopes. Tea dyed. Little round image. The C. Tag. It says relax. Those are the jelly plate printed paper. It was behind the envelope. Here's a, one of those images printed on the jelly plate print. Tag with some napkin image. And this one has some flowers. It says soft water heals everything. Sewn or stitched. Some blank paper, some corner protectors here. I have some more uh, that I'm going to be adding to it. I just saw that I had some more of those corners cut out and I didn't use. Right here like these. But there's some pages I don't have any. I'm going to glue them on. This is a little uh, picture frame. You can put a small picture in here. It says sunshine and good times. Pocket, some cards, and a tag, cluster, and graphic various paper, and some nice new lace, and one of the small charms is attached here. Here's an envelope, the little uh, ties. Signature center ties has some uh, bling little kind of beads, flat beads that look like shells. And this envelope has a little picture here. Oops. In the Caribbean. The other side of the envelope is on the page. In the pocket there. It's also double. Yeah, it means you can put stuff behind it or in, inside it. This little cluster. I think I'm putting this down too much. 
little corrugated cardboard, a tech space, a little card, <coughs> a cluster. And the saying there, you shine. I'm trying to read upside down. Come on. Blank page. There's another envelope. Nice image of waves. A uh, guest shack received new tag. In the little flower cluster there. <clears throat> Red page. A seahorse print on the pocket. Some shells. Paper with some spray and tea. Nice mesh there. Nice paper pocket, little card. Put inside and behind all the all these little envelopes. You can tuck the things behind it. Another graphic fairy, tea dye paper, some lace, and a little dangle. This one is a, an anchor on a charm. Beautiful image here. Part of the collection from Graphics Fairy. Can you see the collection? Let's get lost and never be found. This is from Prima. This little thing here. It's got a cluster and some flowers. And a postcard. And a little uh, stamp there. The crab. As you see, a, a ticket looks like a ticket, and that's uh, stapled. You can use it as a text box too. Paper. This is a little thingy I learned. It's called a magic. Fold, I believe. It's by uh, the Outpost paper. Outpost. Something like that. You pull it out and it opens. It's got an image of a shell. A couple walking along the beach. And this little boy here dressed like a captain. It says us. And here the Here's the heart of the ocean. Little saying here. Paper outpost. That's where I learned how to make this. Kind of cute. So I cut this uh, round image. I cut it in half. Um, dictionary paper. Uh, Book paper flower with a blue button. I think all of them have the corners. Yeah. Corner part. Bath salt label. Tag. Double tag. It has little little cards in here. Here's a little envelope cluster. Fine paper, that's the center of that signature. And this is an envelope made, this is a pocket. And journaling card. And a tag. 
And on the other side, I see the rest of the envelope decorated. Uh, this was inspired by Shabby Dabby Duda. This is a vellum paper over uh, another paper. As a stamp, I used a little lace here with a flower trims and then you, it opens to the side, flips out, and there's a journaling card in here. Oh, this is a postcard. I decided to tuck in uh, include a postcard of Puerto Rico with the ocean and the let me see what they call this in English. Doesn't say but this is a it's a castle. They use this to protect the island from invaders in the Spanish times and when the Spaniards were here. And this is a little tuck spot also. My page, dictionary paper, a little uh, glassine back here, a small one, a uh, paper flower with a button. Pocket, a tag. And this is say here, make a wish on something. A little cluster here. A doily, a little flower made of crochet doilies. Pocket, tag. There's an image of a woman. And a blue dress and this is a map a nice image of the ocean some shells this is a little paper doily over a pocket with a map little card in there and this says, you are the only fish in the sea for me. That's what this says here. Graphic paper tea dyed. Another label, bath oil, and lost my heart to the sea. This is some scrapbooking paper by Prima. Look at this little boy here. Dress as a captain. That's a boy in the other image. Pretty. Little lace. This is a book that I found. And it's got a little uh, piece of the ocean here. And on the other side, I believe, is asking why there are no uh, flowers. At the uh, at the beach, there's a little pocket, some writing paper, a belly band with another. Uh, it's not a guest thing. It's a uh, cycle, motorcycle, and automobiles receipt for something. Probably a rent rental. When you're on vacation, you can rent bicycles. This one says schooner, sail away, swim. And it's got a nice little cotton trim on both sides. Writing paper, a little cluster. And this is a uh, napkin on uh, paper, book paper. You can see the letters behind it. It's got a little bit of uh, gesso and a little ribbon here, a little piece of ruffled box, ruffled ribbon. 
the label, the pockets, and this here is the Grand Hotel St. James uh, dinner. Menu, dinner menu. It's in Paris. Pocket with three small journaling cards, the shell, those plank boards, and this one. This one has pretty flowers on the back. Dictionary paper with a paper flower, button center, and the other side of the napkin applique book paper. Now this is a dictionary. Another little pocket here. I'm gonna put some little things in there that I have. Writing paper. Another pocket, a cluster. Some tea dyed black paper. This is the other side of that book. It's in Spanish. And this is where it's asking why are there hardly any plants at the uh, edge of the, the sea. Or at the beach. There's some printed, jelly printed paper and a cluster. And that's the last page. Here's a pocket, another postcard with one of those stamps. That one has a lobster. And that is it. I tied a double knot here so it won't go through the, the metal eyelet. And that's the C theme book. I had a load of fun making it. I love it. That's what it looks like. Not so the journaling space and little knickknacks about the sea. It's a perfect uh, book to take on a cruise or to journal about a cruise. I love this image. Let me see if I have. Yeah, there, here it is. I use some of these papers. Well, they're from, I thought they were Prima. These are from Graphic 45. There's a lady. I use some of this scrapbooking paper. Some of my belly prints. Some book papers. I know this is from Prima. So guys, let me know what you think, if you like it, and I'll see you in my next video. It will be posted in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I have several journals there, and they all they all have uh, free shipping, the last ones that I posted. Have a nice weekend. Bye.